Hi, Sam Pedro. Yeah, 47 days of terror. That's how this was described. Gang members ambushing each other across three different cities, injuring, killing innocent people in the process. Well, now we can tell you those suspects are locked up. It was the deadliest crime scene in Inglewood in 25 years. Today, police say the gang members with assault rifles who ambushed a birthday party in January 2022 and killed four people are in custody. It began over a simple riff or disagreement. Street culture at times that allows such disagreements to escalate into senseless killing. LA City law enforcement leaders announcing the indictments of seven men for a crime spree that left seven people dead over 45 days. The victims included Brianna Stein celebrating her 20th birthday at that party in Inglewood and her sister, 25 year old Marnisha Hamilton. I'm elated. I'm happy. The mother of the two young victims told us although it took a year and a half for the indictment, she is relieved. I respect the process. So I didn't necessarily expect to happen overnight, but um, my faith in God, I knew that this day was going to come. Today, the DA announcing the men face a 37 count indictment, including murder, attempted murder, assault and possession of a firearm by a felon for the ambush shootings across Inglewood, L.A. and Compton. This level of violence anywhere at any time shocks the conscience and is completely unacceptable. LAPD Chief Michael Moore says the shooting started with threats on social media. People insulting one another, mocking one another, and challenging one another uh, to, to acts of violence. And that that then perpetuates itself into an escalation. This is frustrating. And the police chief says if convicted, it is likely the men will never be released from prison. I checked and six of the seven suspects in these shootings do have prior arrest and convictions. They are all locked up now and due back in court next month. We're live downtown. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Sam Pedro, back to you.